So Grand Cayman is this dinky little island in the middle of the Caribbean. It's like 22 miles long. There's no icebergs, so you don't have to worry about that, but it's a really neat place to visit if you're on a cruise. You're gonna have to take a tender since there's no big port out there. You know, one of these ugly two-tier tenders that's really uncomfortable. If you get seasick, well, be careful. It's not as calm as the ship. There's a map here with some of the tourist things and you can see the Turtle Center, which is really neat. We didn't do that this time. And you can always go to hell. There's a little town called Hell where you can send a postcard. So you'll get a really unfriendly uh, van driver who won't say a word, who probably doesn't speak English. I don't know. It's like an English territory, a British territory. I'm not sure what's going on there. But he was like, uh, I don't know, he was like Russian or something. No idea. So you'll drive through this little town, see all the little shopping places, run by some gas stations, run into a McDonald's or a Burger King and Dunkin' Donuts and all those stores you'll see back in the States. It's kind of like your home. It's so weird. Gas is like five fifty. dollars uh, I don't know if it's a gallon or I don't know what they do over there. But anywho, you're just going to take you about 15 minutes to get to this place. You're going to drive through this little community. And then you're going to get on this little boat. And uh, it'll make a lot of noise. It'll be ugly and dirty. And these guys won't talk to you first either. Now, it does rain a bunch down there. It is a tropical island. But rainstorms are different in the tropics. They last about 15, 20 minutes and they kind of blow away. So just be prepared for that. You'll be covered under the boat. But there's a lot. it leaked all over people. It was terrible. Their bags were soaked and everything. And you're just like rat boats, you know. And you're going to pull up to this real shallow area, like in the middle of the ocean. It's really bizarre. And the water is so clear and beautiful. So as you see, the sun came out. Look at that. You can see the clouds and the rain behind us there. So it spared us out here. And they'll go into the water and they'll warm up a stingray. This is the stingray and uh, starfish tour. So they'll go in there and they'll warm them up. They'll get real friendly and they'll start to bring them close to people. And these things are acclimated to people. They're not going to sting you with their barbs. But they have not been debarred. I mean, this is the ocean. You can't possibly debar everything out there. These things would be defenseless. So they are legit stingrays. They're usually a little smaller. And uh, the people who do these tours will usually bring some shrimp and some food out there and feed them, which is why they're so friendly. They think, hey, I'm going to get fed i'm not gonna sting the hand that feeds me so they'll you know, kind of warm you up and rub this thing you'll feel it's like soft and kind of mucusy it's kind of weird and then they'll start to take some pictures and they will take them with your own camera some of the tours will do their own cameras but most of them will let you if you have your camera or your cell phone in the water they will let you they will take pictures for you of you with the stinger which is really really neat they do have their own photographer which is nice and they do sell pictures on the way back which is nice too so this way if you don't want to risk your camera on the water i mean it's the ocean we had an underwater camera and look at all this stuff i mean whenever you're in the ocean there is all kinds of stuff going on we saw some uh, barracudas we saw a couple of stingrays behind us uh, one looked like a little baby shark flew by us and uh, you never know what's in there. So if you're a little skittish about being in the ocean, be aware. There's stuff that you will never see. There's like little fish swimming between your legs and everything here. And it's no, they don't bother you. They don't nip or anything. So this is where they start getting really intimate. And supposedly if you give the stingray a kiss, you get seven years of good luck. If I get in the water, I've got like 10 minutes of good luck because I wasn't killed. You know what I mean? But they're cute, they're adorable. I mean, they just, they do whatever they want with these things. I mean, they're gentle and they run water over to make sure they have to breathe in the water. And uh, these things look pretty darn friendly. And some of them are pretty big too. I didn't see any really big ones there, but in the past we have seen some really big stingrays, which was kind of concerning. Please, they'll put the, the barb right between his arm here, right by his body. I mean, that's just what happened to Steve Irwin, but nobody knows what happened there because they won't tell the story. So this girl came up, got a little cozy, and she didn't even know we were videotaping, so that was kind of cool. Felicia loves it, and I had to get in on the action too, so I did give the stingray a little kiss. I got down on the water, and they just bend them up, and they keep the barb away from you. And a uh, great photo opportunity, right? I mean, this is something you'd put on the, on the family room wall and keep there forever. I mean, how often in your life are you going to be able to do this? And they're just so docile, so chill, you know? But look, underneath, this is the real barb. They are not fixed. They are not, they don't mess with them. I mean, this is just as they are in the wild. You can see they're so gentle with them and they're so good with them. So the next stop was the starfish tour. And this was kind of like disgusting, murky water. I was actually a little nervous in this water. You can walk up to the beach too, but you have to be careful. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Now the starfish, they kind of wiggle around the sand and they'll pull a couple up and let you hold them. They tell you to keep them under the water, which is good because they have to stay alive under the water. And then you just hold it, take a couple of pictures and then hand it off to the next person. So it worked out real well here. They all look the same. There weren't anything really unusual 
not like really big ones or different colors. They were all kind of the orange brown poopy color ones. Now we did see some sea urchins down here. And uh, if you step on one of these, you're gonna have a bad day. As a matter of fact, a couple of girls got brushed by one of these, the little girls, and they had to pour some alcohol or something on there on the ship. And they had a pretty nice little welt on there. But uh, yes, yeah, so be careful. I mean, you're in the ocean, you're in the wild. So you have to exercise caution. And then you get back on the goofy tender and get back on your ship. And unfortunately, you're going to eat all the wildlife that you just promised to protect and nurture. And, uh, well, you know how it is. It's a great tour. Highly recommend it.